Welcome. Today, we got a good beach body workout today. Uh, if you guys have a band that's gonna work, a, uh, you can use a towel instead of the band. We'll be using the towel for some bicep curls. Saw a little video on YouTube that was actually pretty smart with the towel. Get some curls out of that. If you have a mini band, a mini band's gonna be beneficial for the leg. Also, you're gonna wanna have your couch handy or some type of bean bag. I'll be using my moon pod for the couch bench because we're gonna be doing some of the uh, single leg hip thrusts today. So I'm gonna be using my moon pod for that, but you can also use a couch because there's no way I'm moving that couch. It's just, it's just not happening. Monsef, if you know how big that couch is, that, there's no way that thing's getting moved. What's up, Zach? Zach, you working out today or what? All right, guys, let's get this party started. We got everything we need. Let's get warmed up. We got glutes, we got abs, we got shoulders, we got biceps, we got triceps. Let's get this party cooking. All right, first thing we're gonna do, all fours. Let's go a little cat cow. Arch the back, up to the ceiling, drop the chin. Roll it down, little segmental action, exhale, arch the back one at a time, lower back, all the way to the upper back, look up at the ceiling here, back down, drop the chin, roll the spine, roll the spine, tuck the tailbone, from this position, shoulder taps, one hand on the shoulder, other hand pushing down, back and forth here, alternating. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Let me just move my mat a little bit for you. Move it right there, there we go. Downward dog guys, downward dog position. Push the heels to the ground, one heel at a time here. Inhale, exhale, switch sides, inhale, exhale. One more time again, other side, inhale, exhale. Inhale, heel down, exhale. Walk it back, roll all the way up. Walk it out to an inchworm now, roll down. Walk out from here, Ooh, move back for you guys a little bit. From here, push up. If you need to, drop to the knees, push up. Either one, walk it back up. We got three of these, go at your own pace. How you guys feeling today? I'll tell you one thing, I am quite, quite sore. The hip flexors, the glutes, the hamstrings, all that stuff. All that stuff is hitting. Last one. All right, guys, let's get 20 seconds of jumping jacks going. Three, two, and go. 20 seconds. I'm going to move this camera around. A little better placement here. There we go. That's better. That's a lot. Let's go a little bit forward here. There we go, that's gonna be better. Three more seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, so first thing we're gonna be going with, we're gonna have single leg hip thrust, all right? So with single leg hip thrust, grab your bench, your bench, your chair, your couch, your moon pod, anything to elevate the shoulders. If you don't have any of that stuff, that's fine. You can still do just a traditional single leg glute bridge. All right, so you have the single leg glute bridge option too, or you have the single leg hip thrust option, which is gonna be shoulders elevated like so, bridge it up, and then back down, all right? After we do the single leg hip thrust or glute bridge, whichever one you're doing, you're then gonna stay on that same leg, and then we're gonna do some side lying hip abduction, which is gonna be right here, this position, and then lift that hip. All right, so we're working the same leg, two exercises in a row, and then we're gonna switch to the left leg, all right? 
those are our first two exercises, and then we're gonna cover the other stuff later. All right, so we're gonna go 30 seconds per leg here, and then we're gonna switch. Let's go 40 seconds. Let's go 40. We're gonna go 40 off, 20 off, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Here we go. Moon pod is in place. I'm gonna start my left leg first. I recommend you do the same to get on the same page. We're starting 10 seconds, guys. Today's gonna be hard. We're gonna be doing a lot of 40-20s. 40 20s for six or seven exercises. We're not stopping the whole time. Three, two, and go. Arms on the T. Push through that heel. You don't need much height. As long as the shoulders get elevated, you're still going to work that glute. Push through that heel. Heel drive. Keep that other right leg up the whole time. 12 seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 second break. Get into your side lying position. Move the moon pot around. Love this bad boy. Seven seconds here. Side line. Ooh, don't want to crush the uh, the microphone. Sideline position and go. This is quick. How many can you get here? If you have a band, this is where you can put a band on too. Put a band right here, top of that knee. You can keep the knee bent or you can straighten it. When you go straight, that's a different ball game. Think about reaching along with the heel. All this is tight. 10 seconds, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Right leg, we're working the right leg now. Hey, you don't have to elevate your body for those, you're gonna get tons of work without elevating it. I've never had this much fun in a workout in a long time. Here we go, single leg hip thrust in three, two, and go, right leg. Let's get about a one to two second hold. One, two, good. Back down, hold. One, two, get the glute. If you need to, hit your glute. Is that bad boy on? It should be rock solid. Roll it back down, bridge it up. Let's not touch the bottom now. Keep the butt afloat the whole time. A higher bench will make this movement harder. 12 seconds. 10 seconds, drive that heel into the ground. I'm looking for a vertical shin here. So I should probably move my foot up just a little bit. About 90 degrees. Knee to hit and break. Whew. That gets the glute going. This time I'm not gonna use the moon pod or bench or couch. We're just gonna lay on my side. So you can do a side line move. Go right here, leg straight, lie on my side. Three seconds, three, right leg, two, and go. Lift that hip up. It's just a little bit reduced range of motion. So if I want to, I can do this now. Come up on the elbow. Make sure that our hip isn't rolling, right? We're not rolling it out. Keep this square. So grab your pelvis. Make sure that stays square the whole time. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Reach long with that heel. So my toes are pulled to my face, heel to ceiling. Like Jane Fonda style right here. Here we go, six seconds, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. That's a beast, that's a beast. All right, side plank guys, side plank to push up. This position, push up, boom, open it up. Hello, back down, push up, open it up. Whoa, hello, in three, two, one, go. Push up, side plank. We got 40 seconds here, back down. You can go at your own pace. If you want to work on your side planks more, hang out in side planks more. If you want to get more push ups in, do two push ups and then go to the side plank. Customize it, make it your own. I'm just here to make sure you show up. One, two, I'm doing three. 
Side plank. Hold that position. Good. Back down. Just one push up. Side plank. Back down. Side plank. Last one. Beautiful. Grab your towel or band. Towel or band. Place the towel on the foot. That's what you're going to do. Legs stay straight. Curl in. The resistance from your leg is going to train the biceps in three, two, and one. Like so. Whoever says arms aren't functional, clearly they've never done arms. I'm a big fan of the bicep curls. Keep it going, guys. We're going to get lots of curls in today. If you want more resistance, just give yourself more resistance. You can increase it. Five seconds. And break. Skull crushers, plank skull crushers. We did these last time. And don't you worry, we're coming back to, the, to those bicep curls again. We're getting double sets of biceps today. Plank skull crushers, plank position, like here, pop up, boom, back down. Too hard, right here. That's where we start. In three, two, and go. 40 seconds. The 40 20 might have been a little aggressive, but you know, I was a little tired before we started. I just need to get the adrenaline rolling. Now we're feeling good. 20 seconds in, guys. Let's keep working. It's Friday already. Let's work through this. 15 more seconds. Good technique. Hold those abs in place. Drive through. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, that's one. One. 20 seconds. Back to the towel curls. Talk about a superset here. This is a good uh, beach workout before you go to the beach. Get the body pumped. Grab your towel. Same thing. Thumbs up this time and go. So from the side, this is what it looks like. Giving myself resistance and I'm flexing the biceps hard. In these situations, you know, you gotta work with what you have. As long as you show up, you're getting something out of it. Tension is one of the most important things when it comes to getting stronger. The more tension you can create in the muscle, the stronger you're gonna get. So flex those biceps as hard as you can. How much tension can you create? For five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Got my favorite ab exercise, everyone. We got tuck ups. My number one, arms overhead. We know how to do these, you roll up, boom. That's where we're at. In three, two, and go. 40 seconds. I love this exercise because big stretch overhead, come all the way in. You get upper abs with the crunch, lower abs with the knees to the chest, and puts it all together. When you're going overhead here, let's try to actually move through the shoulder so it's not this, right? I don't want to see a huge rib cage flare. I want to tighten those abs, reach over the head with my shoulders. Move the shoulders, all right? Just like this, move your hips. Get into that position, bring it all in. Bring it all in. And break. All right guys, that's round one. Grab a minute 20, then we're gonna start all over again. Woo. What's up everybody? Oh, Zach, you're out of here already? What's up, Crystal? What's up, Bree? Thanks for coming. All right, 58 seconds. Single leg hip thruster first. And then we got the hip abduction. And then from there, we got the side plank to push up. And then we got the bicep curls. And then we got the triceps. And then we got the bicep curls. And then we got the tuck ups. 
Arms, abs, ass, triple A. It's whatever he wants when they walk in doing a consultation. What do you want? I want toner arms, or I want nicer legs, or I want a nicer butt, or I want a six pack, I want a stomach, I want a leaner stomach. You know? You gotta give the people what they want. All right, single leg hip thrusts. So, you guys do the single leg hip thrusts. I'm gonna show people the single leg hip thrust from a glute bridge position. Left leg first, so if you don't have a couch or anything, you do these on the ground. In three, two, and go. When I'm on the ground, I like to reach my arms to the ceiling to get a little more abs out of it. Tuck and drive. Keep the abs tight. You shouldn't have a pooch bell here. Don't push it out. When a lot of people do hip thrusts, they throw their hips forward. It's not that. It's tuck your tailbone at the top, drive through the heel. Heel drive. 20 seconds. Heel drop. How much tension can you get in that glute? Push to the floor. Good job, guys. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. 20 seconds. You guys are going to need a lot of options in this workout. We got bent knee here or straight leg, either one. I'm gonna go bent knee first for 20 seconds, then I'm gonna go straight leg, and go. I'm not gonna let the knee touch here, right? When it doesn't touch, tons of metabolic stress in there. That's another way muscles can grow. So by doing this, this is gonna get that good burn going. That means the muscle's working, I try to feel that glute. All right, 20 seconds are in, straight leg it now. We're not gonna let the leg touch. It's isometric, just not even let it touch. That hip's working. Hand on the hip. Make sure we don't roll open, right? Keep it hip square, facing forward. Seven seconds, I know it's burning. Five seconds left, come on. We got this for three, two, one. Right leg. Coming up. It's much hotter. Indoors versus outside. Like I said, I was tired. I need to sweat. Three, two, one, go. Either single leg glute bridge, shoulders aren't elevated, or single leg hip thrust, shoulders are elevated on the couch, chair, bench, anything you have to elevate your shoulders. That's going to increase the range of motion and then get that glute a, lot, a little bit more fired up than the traditional bridge. But that doesn't mean the bridge still doesn't work. 12 seconds, 12 seconds. Abs are tight. Seven seconds, keep it up, feel the hips. Last one, and roll down. All right guys, 10 seconds, we're starting again. Here we go, bent knee, modified side plank, or we can go down to sloth position, either one. I like to be here, and go. Don't let the knee touch. Don't let the knee be too far forward either. We don't need to be up here, we wanna be a little bit further back. This way it's gonna hit more of the glute. If we're too far forward, getting more hip flexor. Good, straight leg. Don't lift with the foot here, lift with the hip. That's where my focus is right now is mind muscle connection, mind is in the hip. Can I lift and contract that muscle? Sometimes it helps to put your hand on it, push into it, see if you get that muscle to wake up and break. Side plank push-ups, here we go. Lots of side planks today. 10 seconds. What up Kendall? Good to see you. Three seconds, three, two. Here we go, two push-ups. One, reach, two, reach. Side plank, reach the arm forward. Exhale, back to center. Two push-ups, one, two, side plank. Two exhales. Back to center, three push-ups. Three, two, one. 
Side plank. 27 seconds in. Exhale. Back to center. Three push-ups. Three, two, one. Back to side plank. Exhale. Four push-ups. Four, three, two. Bonus. One. Nice. Grab your towel or resistance band. If you're doing the resistance band, what I forgot to say is you don't have to let your foot move. Just keep your feet in place. Use the foot as an anchor. All right? So if you're going resistance band, just leave it there and just boom. Don't let the foot move and just do some curls. Three, two, and one. Palms are up this time. Three. If you want to increase the intensity, and just add a little more resistance with your foot. You can bend the knee a little bit too. That makes it harder. It's like you're doing a leg press. Ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Try to stay tall. And one. Skull crushers. Plank skull crushers. 12 seconds we're starting in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Up top, hold. Lower down slowly. Plank position, hold. Back up. Three, two, one, back down. Back up. Three, two, one, back down. Hold those abs on. Back up. Make sure we're not dumping. Again, we're not in, we're not J Lo in here. Back down. Hold those abs. If you want to make it harder, walk the elbows back. Now press. You walk the elbows back. You bend the elbows more. Back down. Stretches the triceps more. Gives the triceps a little more love. Back down. Here we go. Last one. Drive through. Abs tight. Push out and lower down. Back to the bicep curls. This might be my new favorite workout today. You do bicep curls two times in one circuit. Thumbs up on the towel. Bicep time. Three, two, one, go. You're gonna test some flexibility too. How strong is your hip flexor? How mobile is your leg? And it's not because your hamstrings are tight. It's just because most likely your hip flexor isn't strong enough. That's why you gotta join the Tuesdays and Thursdays classes to get those hips stronger. Good job guys, keep it going, 15 seconds. Stay tall, thumbs are up. If you want to, bring those thumbs inward to the chest. You'd be surprised by how much the chest plays in bicep curls. Three, two, and one. Nice. Guys, if I miss an exercise at any time, just let me know. We were very busy this morning. Didn't have time to write it out on the laptop. Three. Tuck ups. Two. And one. Knees to chest. Don't forget, we can go advanced. Straight leg it. Who's joining me for the straight legs? That's a different beast. Straight leg up. 15 seconds in. Give me that straight leg strength. Just like straight arm strength is important, straight leg strength is very important too. 10 seconds, guys. Great job so far. Let's keep working now. We're going to break after this. And last one. Minute 20. Third round's coming up. We're sweating. Shout out to Ben House, Pro Research. Whew. All right, one minute break here. I'm starting to sweat. We're gonna go back to the uh, moon pot for the hip thrust, but we don't wanna get the moon pot sweaty. Put a towel on top of her. There we go. 
All right, guys, 35 seconds. 30 seconds left. A little food tip for you. When you guys are eating today, just think about eating slower. Have a plan. Visualize eating slow before the meal even comes. Select one meal and tell yourself, for this one meal, it's gonna take me 30 minutes to finish the whole meal. That's the goal, all right? Train yourself in the gym and then train yourself outside the gym too. Use the same principles. All right, enough talking. Let's get cracking. Left leg and go. Single leg hip thrust. Moon pod thrust. Here we go. Good job, guys. Drive through that left hip. Don't let that glute touch. If you get to like 12, 15 reps, then you're content. That's enough. That's what I usually program people for this. 12 to 15. Seven seconds, core tight. Reach that knee long. So as you come up, reach the knee, reach the knee. Drive the heel, reach the knee. Reach the knee that way. That's gonna get the glute to really fire up. Lean pot over here. Sideline hips. Or you can get you on your bench. Get a little extra range of motion. And go. Focus on that hip doing the work. 15 seconds. I was getting lazy. I was letting my knee touch. Can't let that knee touch. Keep it floating. I'm going to stay bent knee the whole time. I'm going to get more reps. I'm going to pick the pace up. You can go faster here. Mix it up. Reach that top arm long. Call these pumpers. And break. There's no right or wrong way to do an exercise tempo. It's just all about, you know, what type of goal are you chasing? Everything has its place in a program. All right, right leg, hip thrust. Three, two, go, core tight. Damn, reach the knee long. Pass halfway. Keep those abs tight so you don't go into the lower back. Drive through the heel. Reach the knee long. Through the heel, reach the knee. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Right hip. Right hip coming up. That'd be a good core exercise. Moon pod, mason twist. All right, three, two, and one. I'm not gonna let it touch this time. Keep the hips square, abs tight. I like to get an arm reach. The reason this is an extra range of motion is it's all about where my torso is. So my knee is able to drop more into the midline. That's making me work harder to try to drive it all the way up and break. Woo! Push-ups. Push-ups to side planks. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. One push up to start. Side plank position. Back down, another push up. That's one. Back up to side plank. Back down, two push ups this time. One, two, side plank. If you wanna get fancy, lift the leg. You don't have to though. Back down, 
two push up. One, two, side plank. Customize it to your goals and your needs. Back down, push up. Three this time, three, two, reach long at the top. We're not here, reach long. Three, side plank. Ooh, that's break. Nice. Bicep curls. Grab your towel, grab your band. And we're gonna do it this time. Let's curl into the chest. Curl into the chest this time in three, two, and one. So come inward. Stay tall. Bring those biceps in. Two, in, three. If you're doing a band, keep the foot there. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, good. Nine, stay tall. Ten, inhale. Eleven, keep the elbows floating the whole time. Twelve, it's like a preacher curl. Thirteen, it's gonna make it harder. Last one, fourteen. So keep the elbows back, not as challenging. Keep the elbows up, we gotta hold them in place the whole time. Also your hand grip. So this type of motion will influence the bicep too. Everything counts. Plank skull crushers. Switching up the sides on you guys. In three, two, one, and go. Ah, let's get over here. Remember, if you need to, bend the elbows, lean forward more. That's a whole lot harder than this other position. So lean forward, drive them up. So if you can't do this, but this is too easy, this is where you lean forward on your knees, and this is where you can really load those triceps. Because now, my core isn't playing a role in how strong I am. Yours going straight tries, baby. Maybe I just want to do triceps. That's fine. I'm not weaker just because I'm on my knees. Good job, back to the bicep curls. Remember that regressions, progressions, it's not a sign of strength or weakness. It's just basically a sign of what your goal is with that move. In three, two, thumbs up, one, and go. If you want to do less resistance, that's fine. Just get a whole lot more reps though. Keep working. Bring those hands into the center of the chest. That's what it looks like. You're here, coming inward. It's good on camera sometimes to see your own moves. We definitely don't want to be throwing our bodies. I want to be still and tall and just use my elbows. That's why it helps to have a trainer to watch your technique. Stay tall, stay still, and break. Tuck ups. Woo. It's the last exercise, last round. Great job, guys. Flew through this one. Tuck ups, straight legs. Three, two, and one. Good, lower back flat. Keep working. Last move of the day here. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Almost there. We got this, guys. Last five here. Three, two, last one. Bonus, hold. You didn't see that coming, did you? Bonus move. How long can we stay for? Reach and hold, reach and hold. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Lower down. Ooh. Gets the hip flexors, get the abs. The hits on all cylinders. Awesome job, guy. Guys and girls. Thanks for tuning in. Do a cool down now. My favorite. Downward dog, walk the calves back and forth. 
I really appreciate you guys showing up for each one of these workouts. It's definitely helped me out through these times with the quarantine and all that stuff. It's keeping me busy. It's fun. And you guys are letting me practice my, my craft. I mean, this is what I do for a living. I love this job. I just became a personal trainer at 19 years old. Started in North, North Carolina. Whew, been doing it for the last eight years. So I'm very fortunate and lucky to be able to do a job where I just teach people how to move better. And the whole point of doing this type of stuff is to realize that, you know, everything matters. One day a week is a good place to start. Start there. Work your way up to two days a week. You don't have to do what other fitness professionals say. You don't have to train seven days a week. You don't have to do all that shit. If you know the science, if you have experience, if you've done it for a while, you understand that sometimes the minimum effective dose is enough. Not everyone loves working out. So I appreciate all the guys and girls out there who don't really love working out still showing up. Because that's hard to do. It's hard to show up and do something that you're intimidated at or just don't enjoy that much. So thanks again. Heels down. Drop down child's pose. Bring the elbows in. Close rock back. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. And then you guys can just stay here for as long as you like. Inhaling for three, two, one. Exhaling for six, five, four, three, two, one. Each time you do it, your exhales get longer and longer. Focusing your breathing into the lower back. feels good. Woo! The breathing at the end, it's all worth it. I don't know if you realize, but after you finish a workout, your mind feels a little bit clearer. So sometimes it's a good time to just sit back and relax and do a little meditation during that time. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Monsef, hope you had fun. Uh, we might do another workout tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow or Sunday, some people are saying, we need some weekend workouts, so stay tuned. Uh, if any of the time changes, if any of the times change, I'll let you guys know. I have some clients in person who are who need to change times, so uh, and Zoom calls and stuff. So if anything changes, I'll be on my Instagram story. So just look there. All right, you're welcome, Jason. Thanks for showing up, Jason. Here every day. Shout out. We always got one person watching. It's all that matters. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.